We're being asked to find the Laplace transform of the cinch of 5t times the cosinch of 2t. Let's go ahead and work this out. So I don't know a formula that we can use to do this. I'm sure there is one, but I don't know it. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite cinch 5t and cosinch of 2t using their definitions. So recall that the cosinch of, say, x is equal to the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. So it's e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. And the hyperbolic sine of x is half the difference of e to the x and e to the negative x. So half the difference. And cosinch is the average. Nice, easy way to remember the formulas. OK, so in this case, um, we're going to use the formulas, or the definitions, rather, on cinch and cosinch. So here it'll be e to the 5t, and it's cinch, so we have a minus, and then e to the negative 5t, and it's all being divided by 2. And then we have parentheses, times, and then we have cosinch. This is e to the 2t, and then it's cosinch, so it's plus, e to the negative 2t, all divided by 2. We just got to be really careful. So here we can pull out uh, 1 fourth because 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 1 fourth. And now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll FOIL in the numerator. So uh, FOIL, so first is going to be e to the 5t times e to the 2t. When you multiply these, you add the exponents. So it's e to the 7t because 5t plus 2t is 7t. And then the outside terms, it's going to be 5t plus negative 2t, so it's plus e to the 3t. And then the inside, it's going to have a minus, because there's a minus here. And it's going to be e to the negative 3t, because 2t plus negative 5t is negative 3t. And then the last is also going to have a minus. And looks like it's going to be negative 5 plus negative 2, so negative 7t. All right, good stuff. I think we're now ready to take the Laplace. So the Laplace transform of the cinch of 5t times the cosinch of 2t. Well, all of this stuff is equal to all of this. So um, we can do break it up as follows using the fact that the Laplace is linear. So this is 1 fourth Laplace, skipping some steps here, e to the 7t. And then be careful to distribute the 1 fourth. So 1 fourth Laplace of e to the 3t. And then minus 1 fourth Laplace of e to the negative 3t. And then again, minus 1 fourth Laplace of, looks like, e to the negative 7t. Almost there. So now we just have to use the formula for the Laplace of e to the at. Recall that the Laplace of e to the at, this is simply 1 over s minus a. So in our problem, this first piece here, the 1 fourth hangs out. And a is 7, so it's 1 over s minus 7. And then here we have again a 1 fourth. And here a is 3, so it'll be 1 over s minus 3. Then we have a minus 1 fourth. Here a is negative 3, so it'll be 1 over s minus negative 3. But minus and negative is going to give us a plus. Good stuff. And then this is minus 1 fourth. And again, here a is negative 7, so it's negative. So it'll be 1 over, and then minus negative, it's going to be plus 7. And that looks like we are done. Wow, that took longer than expected. I hope this helps.